Yo guys, it's Crack and it's your boy Beast here coming at you with another black and white Wi-Fi battle here. And I believe it's against a guy by the name uh, Jake the Raichu, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he's a pretty good guy, go check him out of this battle. But I believe it's like an RU game and like usual I bring like these uh, lower tier stuff and use only, you know. So, I probably should stop doing that because that's probably the reason why I'm not doing so well in this last uh, 10 battles. But... Yeah, uh, regardless, I'm going to lead off with this Mesprit, and uh, he's going to go ahead and lead off with this all. And as I thought he would do, uh, he's going to go with his rocks, and uh, I'm going to the Magic Cow just to bounce those rocks back, you know. Which is awesome, because that means I can just uh, get up some food rocks, and um, yeah, that's going to be quite nice. So, um, he's going to switch it. No, no, what am I saying? He's going to go with these Felt Rocks of his own right now. Because uh, he's gonna predict me to knock over the magic code again, which is was a quite nice play on his part. But I go for the knockoff, just go rid of his left arrows, and uh, I realize where I hear that I should have had like U turn instead because um, I could have just got enough freeze vision to do Flareon right now. But uh, you know that's that kind of sucks. But I really don't know why I sent him Flareon though because I'm just gonna with Toxic, and uh, he's just gonna earthquake me to death, which really sucks. Um, that was a bad play on my part, and uh, he's gonna get an early 6 file lead, but uh, I'm actually gonna live that earthquake, which is surprising, you know, but... Uh, yeah, uh, this thing can take hits like a boss anyway. So, now I believe uh, I'm gonna go for the live plume, and uh, it's gonna do about a third of that thing, and uh, it's gonna be the ice beam. And that is not gonna kill me off, and I'm like trolling him all day long with this, I don't know, thing, and um... Yeah, so I believe he's gonna go with the Earthquake once again because uh, he does not want me to wait for one more Ice Beam because that would just be so frustrating. So he's gonna go with Earthquake and that is easily gonna take me out, you know. So, Flareon dies, which kind of sucks ass, but uh, yeah, he was at very low health anyway, so it was not really that big of a point switching out anyway. So, I sent in my spirit once again and I uh, go for the rocks. And uh, he's gonna go ahead and predict that and send in his Moltres and uh, go for the Stealth Rocks. And um, yeah, so I go for, I go for the Stealth Rocks as I said, god damn it, I don't have to say that so many times. But uh, now I believe he's gonna go for the Fire Blast. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do a lot. That is gonna almost kill me off, which is crazy because I do have a lot of special defense investment on this thing. So. That is without a doubt choice specs. As you can see right here, I knock off his choice specs, so that's that means that he was definitely choice specs. Obviously, what am I saying? But whatever. Uh, he's gonna the air slash, and he's actually gonna miss, which is awesome. But you know, hacks is hacks. Nothing I can do about it, you know. So I go for the T-Bolt right now, which I should have done earlier, but you know, it's we all make misplays. But now he's gonna the air slash, finally hit and take me out, you know. So. Uh, uh, Mesprit dies, I almost said Azul, but Mesprit dies, and, um, I go ahead and send in Raichu, and I go for the Volt Switch, I believe, um, even though he's got two ground types on his team, I'm not really too afraid of him switching out of them, because his Moltres would die into self rocked anyway, so that's why I thought that he might not switch into them, so, he decides to fight around his, um, Moltres, and I go ahead and send in, uh, this Shell Gun right here, and I was hoping he would send in his Quagsire, which he ends up doing, which is awesome, because that means I can just set him on Glalie. Thinking that he's gonna go for the, like, the other the Scald, or like, the Cursing one, if he's got, like, Curse, I don't know. But, he ends up going for the Curse, which is awesome, because that means I can just set up, set up my own, like, layers of spikes. And, uh, if I can get one Ice Beam off on this thing, then, uh, I know I can easily take it out with one Grass Knot with Raichu, because, um... It's got pretty good special attack, and, uh, yeah, so I go for, I go for one layer of spikes, and, uh, get over the earthquake, and, uh, that is gonna do a lot, but it's not gonna kill me off, though, because I'm max HP, no, I don't think I'm max HP, but, uh, I don't think I've got any de defense inv investment at all, by the way, but, yeah, whatever. So, I take it out with, uh, well, no, I take myself out with explosion, I don't know why I went for that, I should've just went for the ice beam, because he's, just, he's gonna go, go for one more curse. And, uh, I don't know, I guess it would have been kind of nice in case he had, like, rest or something, I don't know. But, regardless, I'm just gonna send in right shoot, and, um, I'm just gonna go with the grass knot, which is easily gonna take it out, and actually gotta crit with that, uh, explosion earlier on. Did I mention that? I don't know, but, um, I'm just gonna go, go for the grass knot, and I really don't think that crit earlier on matter at all, because I probably would have died anyways through the grass knot, so. 
Yeah, he's four times um, weak to you know. So now he's gonna go ahead and send his archer chaps. I do not want to take an earthquake, so I'm ha I'm forced to switch out of there into shell gun because it's physically defensive. But look how much this earthquake does. It does a lot. It does a fuck ton to me. Like, wow, this thing's supposed to take hits. Like, what the hell? But yeah, probably should get rid of those uh, special defense investments I got on this thing. Because that's gonna bite me in the ass right here. I probably could have taken that um, acrobatics if I did have max defense and max AP, but I don't, so that kind of sucks. But now he's gonna go ahead and switch out into his clay all. And uh, what I should have done is I should have just sent in my golem instead of this Raichu. Because uh, I should have just went for the sucker punch actually, because uh, he would have most likely stayed in uh, for the earthquake. Try to go for the earthquake on my golem. And uh, my golem is actually a choice banded, so uh, the Psycho Punch would have done a lot. And um, if it wouldn't have killed him, then it would have de definitely brought him down to that ability, you know, which will lower his attack. So that would have been awesome if that happened, but it's not gonna happen, so that kind of sucks. And if it would have been for the T Bolt instead of the Bolt Switch, that, that would have been awesome as well, because um, the T Bolt would have done more, and I did not have to sack uh, this golem right here because um, my only two pucks left are golem and Raichu. So that really sucks. I'm forced to fight around my golem. So, yeah, this golem right here would have been a lot more useful than this Raichu. So I should have just fought around this thing and go for the T Bolt uh, right off the bat. But, uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. Things would have definitely uh, gone better for me if I wouldn't have the T Bolt, but you know, we all make misplays. It's nothing, nothing we can do about it. So. Now, he's gonna send his uh, last, I believe, and that is his Galvantula. And uh, he's just gonna be able to take me out with one more Bug Buzz, so that's the end of the game. So, that was a good game. Uh, what's your name? Joey. No, Joey, not Joey. Jake, the right you. Um, link for the channel will be not below. Go check him out. Um, if you enjoyed this narration, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment, all that stuff. Leave a comment, because I haven't really got them, that many comments lately on my battles. But, yeah, if you would be so kind, leave a comment, because that makes me happy. And leave a like as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!